if I uh, owned a time machine, I would go back, slap my mother in the face. And we are here with Elsie Fisher, who plays Kayla, and Bo Burnham, who wrote and directed the film. My daughters are. It was probably some of the most fun auditions I've ever done. Um, yeah, no, I mean, Bo is really nice. Um, <laughs> No, truly. I mean, I went to an audition like right after and I handed them my headshot and it didn't have as much of my beautiful acne on my face and they're like, where's all the red? They um, said that. They, they said, where's your acne on yeah. your headshot? These fucking <laughs> awful casting director people. Exactly. It's like, no, truly, um, it's like this, it's just the worst people in the world. Like, you know. <laughs> I'm not sure how you did it. It's really hard to make a movie like this that hits all the right points without being overly sentimental or exploitative in, in any kind of way. So how tough was that for you to walk that line? Was it something you recognized while you were writing it or something that was kind of natural for you? Jake? <laughs> so you see, when, when was the last time you went to a bookstore? I go Christ to bookstores. Sake. I like to walk around a bookstore. Nice mom and pop shop like an Amazon Books. You know that Amazon makes bookstores? Those are great. Real down to earth. Are you serious? Yeah. They have bookstores? Yeah, yeah. They went and like destroyed... It's like, did you not have enough of the market? No, but they literally try they literally destroyed bookstores and then like And then and they're basically dancing shitty. on the grave. Oh, absolutely. No, no, no. They're like what they're assholes. like fucking their wives on their graves. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What what was what was the most I was very surprised by what the most horrifying thing for her to watch was. What was the worst what was the most embarrassing thing for you to watch? The Rick and Morty scene. <laughs> I, like I afterwards, I was like, what was tough? Like the pool scene, whatever. She's like, no, 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 me talking about Rick and Morty. I can't even, because I didn't, I've never, I've never seen the show. I heard it was good, but the two of them liked it. So I just had them and uh, yeah, that, that's what kills her surprisingly. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I that's stuff, true, fair point. I am, yeah, fair point. I'm of the, uh, the younger generation. So I just wonder for all of you, uh, who are you? <laughs> <laughs> Now you can talk. <laughs> sure, I, I definitely I get the anxious thing. What about you, Elsie? What do you think, Elsie? Uh, he had a great answer. Uh, so mine is, I feel nervous too. <laughs> Basically. Yeah, cool. <laughs> We're hopeful that we won't be though soon, right? We'll see. Here's a question for you guys. Um, is it is it necessary? Is it necessary that every single person on this planet um, expresses every single opinion that they have on every single thing that occurs all at the same time? Is that, is that necessary? Um, or to ask it a slightly different way, um, can, can anyone shut the fuck up can can anyone any 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 one any single one can any one shut the fuck up about any about any any single thing can any single person shut the fuck up about any single thing for an hour you know is that is that possible And I know you're thinking, you're not shutting the fuck up right now. And that's true, but... It feels to, often to me like it's written by a 40-year-old when you see, like, 15-year-olds in, in, like, movies being like, that was hashtag savage. And it's like, uh, <laughs> Like, no kid has ever spoken like that. And if they are, they're, like, making fun of the fact that they would speak like that. They're doing it ironically. Like getting called a narc and being told to leave the school. Or yeah, yeah, well, just like, I, yeah, it's very strange. It, a lot of movies, in the way they sort of use kid language, sounds, they sound like Taco Bell commercials, where it's like, hashtag chalupa. I mean, it makes me want to, like, curl up in a ball and die. Um, Thank you. Um, keep your applause going for the only reason to applaud in this movie, the coolest girl in the world, Elsie Fisher. I love your little
Jersey faces. <laughs> they might not all be Jersey. Who's from Pennsylvania? <laughs> well, uh, thank you guys for being here, truly. And you'll have the chance in July. You're not getting in, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, we tried. Um, but, you know, the municipal funds of Jersey uh, can't allow for large venues. But enjoy the brick. Uh, and thank you for being here, guys. And the movie will be out soon. But thank you, it means a lot that you guys are here. Thank you. Give the kid permission, and, and with all the kids, like give them permission to be inarticulate. I tell them, like, I didn't say a complete sentence until I was 24. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> truly, like, the story of being young is being inarticulate. And there's so many, mo you know, things with young people, and they're like young poet laureates. And it's like, what the fuck? Like, no one, t and like, the story of being a kid is like sounding like you just drank a glass of milk, and you're like, <laughs> you know? So, like, I'm, that's so psychotic. Yeah. That's so evil. It really is. And I'm like, please leave me alone. I'm 13. Yeah, yeah. child actor casting people are evil for the most part. <laughs> Except for you. Yes, well, I've buried it. I've buried my <laughs> evil deep within myself. Yeah. Wow, what, what do I look like? I, the hair musical t-shirt. Shoot me in the temple and have the bullet come out the other temple. We try to find a tune, but I'm not really a musician. Oh, I can't do this. Oh, I made it so much further than I thought I was going to. That is my past. I am proud of it. If I uh, owned a time machine, I would go back, slap my mother in the face, and say, stay away from Scott Burnham. You had two kids. That's enough, girl. She graduated from eighth grade. A week later, we started filming. A week after we stopped filming, she went to her freshman year of high school, and she didn't get cast in her school play. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> so, Mr. Donia from Thousand Oaks High School, you stink. <laughs> I relate to her anxiety very much. That is something I deal with, feeling anxious now. Uh, yeah, but In this I, moment right now? Or oh yeah, all the time. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, this, this is the general now or right now. This is very natural. This is yeah. how the six of us hang out most of the time. Yeah. Facing one way with a lot of people just watching us. Yeah. yeah. Hey everybody, um, I just wanted to make a really quick video to say Thank you. Thank you for watching my content. As you guys know, I work really hard to try to bring you guys high quality content that I think you'll enjoy. So the fact that you are enjoying it means everything to me. So thank you. And also, keep watching, because there's a lot more content where that came from. <laughs> All right, guys. See you later.